Hi everyone and welcome to Curious Business Talks. In today's article that I'm going to read out loud is about Medium and the title is When will Medium Partner Program will be updated? I still wonder until this day. Let's dive in. What are the criteria for a country to be on that list? Is there something uh, the writers can do to help the list with countries grow and promote writing and reading? Sign up for the 100 followers challenge, but stayed for the challenge to write one article a week. Yes, it is true, that was the first temptation, getting to 100 followers. But then I got caught up in writing and I forgot to check about the additional criteria related to eventually getting paid. Also, I think by next week I will be already having 100 followers. Edit. Here we are, woohoo! Actually, I have 177 followers right now. So later after I published a few articles, I even bought a membership because 1. It was a Christmas discount and who doesn't love a discount? 2. I wanted to support the medium writers that inspired me to write more. 3. And of course, so I can read more content and don't be restricted by the paywall. Later on, I was Wait a minute, people are talking about some countries and lists of eligibilities, like, what is going on, I thought. Then I read about it and I saw that the first to get paid, you need to have a Stripe account. Stripe should also be supported in your country. I don't know which one, of origin or residence, but also should be on the list of countries part of the Medium Partner Program. I guess it is the country of residence because of the taxes, right? I sent an email to Medium and I haven't gotten any response yet, but would be lovely to see if there is a consideration of updating the list of countries. Look at the transparency and visualization of Stripe's list of countries below. How nice is that? That's an example of good user experience, especially showing which countries are also in preview to get accepted to the list. And here is the list of countries currently enrolled in Medium Partner Program. Australia, Austria, Belgium, Canada, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hong Kong, Ireland, Italy, Japan, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Mexico, Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Singapore, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, United Kingdom, United States. You probably can see the difference that the list is not easy to read, let alone informative enough. And when I decided to go through the application process of answering some questions through their type form, I got to the end with a simple request to bear with them. And I will. I will bear and wait in patience to be informed that my country of residence is included. Or just move to Spain or any other warm country on the list. Another thing I am really curious about is how Medium is going to filter and go about the original and AI-generated articles. Would love to see an update on the countries list as well, or at least some information on how the countries are being selected and if there's something we as a proactive writers can help with. It's not like I will hustle for the clubs and other metrics that are bringing revenue. But it will be nice if from my stories I can buy myself another year of subscription or a coffee every once in a while to keep the creative juices flowing. But that's just me. There are people out there who want to pursue a career in writing and create a community where they can share ideas and stories, but the main barrier for them to get profit from their work is something as a country eligibility. So here are a few ways how you can support writers like me who are not in the partner program of Medium. Buy me a coffee, a free, fast and beautiful way to receive one-time and monthly support from your fans, services, tips, donations, memberships, shop. Gumroad. Gumroad is a powerful but simple e-commerce platform. We make it easy to earn your first dollar online by selling digital products, memberships and more. Other platforms like Patreon, following, subscribing to their content and newsletters, engaging with their content and providing genuine feedback, sharing their content and spreading the word about what they do, use their affiliate links if they have such, offer cross-platform collaborations if you are interested in their work. That's it. Be that supportive stranger that everyone needs in times of doubt or slow growth. 
And who knows, that same energy might return to you in another positive form of things. P.S. If you want to be part of my curious journey, you can find me also on Instagram and LinkedIn. So if you're interested, you can listen to my first read out louds here on YouTube and subscribe for more upcoming ones. Thank you for listening. Consider giving me a subscribe or follow depending on the platform that you're using right now. Thank you for your comments and feedback. They really motivate me to continue recording and see you in the next one. Bye.